this time when <clears throat> we're not having our family gatherings and um, feeling a little out of touch with each other, I decided that I would send each of my grandchildren a handmade valentine. My children, when we when they were young, we used to always get together before Valentine's Day and make a big batch of valentines for their classrooms. And I remember telling them how much more meaningful the handmade ones were because they had the personal touch in them and they had spent time on them and everything. So I decided that if I send my kids, my grandkids, valentines, it should be homemade ones. But I have a lot of grandchildren and not a lot of time, so it needed to be something fairly quick and easy to do. So first I'm, I decided to make mixed media style valentines. So I am first gathering up a bunch of papers that have um, kind of accumulated on my art desk and I need to thin these out a little bit anyway, so this was a good project to take care of some of those and I'm just kind of randomly gluing some on. I am doing some different color schemes um, in my papers and but I will be adjusting those also with paint later so it doesn't matter a whole lot what I'm sticking on. I uh, do have different grandkids that have different color favorite colors so I'm trying to consider that a little bit as I go. So not only do the handmade valentines have a little more meaning, a little bit more of that personal touch, they also can be suited to your specific um, person. They are inexpensive, even though I am using um, the pre-made blank cards. And they also are helping me clear out my collage stash. So now I have the first layer done on all of the cards and now I'm going to get ready to add some paint. The trick on this part is to just use a couple different colors along with white. So I'm, I'm picking colors that kind of correspond with what I already have there and I'm using um, straight out of the bottle a couple different colors of purple. I'm kind of saving time of not mixing by um, using colors out of the out of the bottle. I'm painting, um, doing all my ones that are purple and first. This time I'm doing purple and pink, and I'm pulling out some Masters Touch fluorescent paints that I've had for a while and haven't used. I don't use a whole lot of fluorescent paint, but. Um, for my grandkids, I thought that they would enjoy having that uh, extra pop of color in in the in their cards. As you see, I'm kind of covering the card, but I'm not totally covering up all of the paper. I'm letting some of that peek through, not blending every anything very carefully, just letting it kind of blend as it will on the paper. I'm also using. Some Neo Color 2 and some oil pastels uh, in addition just to do a little bit of mark making and kind of make the surface more interesting. Here I'm adding some drips along the top. I'm using uh, the paint. I'm also using some golden high flow acrylics here and just getting um, just anything that makes this surface just a little bit more interesting. You could also do 
stamping or scribbling or any kind of mark making on here. <laughs> layer all done. Now I'm cutting a piece of cardstock that's the same size as my card and into a heart shape. And once I have a shape I'm happy with, and you could use a different one for each card, I'm using the same one on all the cards. And I'm using um, Liquitex Professional Gesso. Uh, you could also use white paint. I just want a good coverage um, that'll cover Pretty good in one coat and I am just sponge painting around that heart shape and it leaves the center part that's all painted and decorated showing and it's just a real quick and easy way to make an attractive card.
if you decide to make some, I hope you have as much fun with them as I did.